What's up guys? It's the weekend, it's Saturday, and I just finished my workout and I'm home. I'm freezing. I like hate changing after the gym. I'm so lazy. Like, I just wanna hurry up and eat and I'm freezing and I don't wanna shower and yeah, I'm a scrub. So I think I'm just gonna keep my coat on. This is that Lulu coat Jason got me for Christmas, which I love. Um, I'm going to make some breakfast and I've been like eating pretty consistently during the week. Like I've been, and I normally eat all over the place, but I've been really consistent with my meals just because I've kind of found meals that I really enjoy and that, you know, following my macros work really well, help me feel satisfied. So I eat fairly structured Monday through Friday when I'm at work. And then on the weekend for me to not like, I mean, I can eat whatever I want, but this is what's worked well for me is just switching it up on the weekend. So I'm not like bored eating the same exact thing seven days a week. So I'll eat like my psyllium husk pancake every day for breakfast during the work week, but on the weekend I want to do something different. So um, today I'm going to make the like one carb or two carb, whatever, MTS waffles. I'm going to make, Jason and I want, I'm going to do, um, I'm going to make like a waffle sandwich. Jason posted a picture on his Instagram. And I think I did a video on this. It's been a hot minute though. So I'm going to do like the waffle and I'm going to use the birthday cake MTS way. I'm going to use some egg beaters on the inside, and hate on me if you want, but Velveeta cheese is the shit, so this goes awesome on eggs, and it's one and a half fat, three carbs, three protein, so a slice of this, and I think that's it, because, yeah, so I'm going to make Jason and I waffle sandwiches, he's still finishing up at the gym. I have a hair appointment today at 2. It's 10.20 now, so it's kind of wasn't great, but it was the only hair appointment um, she had. We wanted to go snowboarding because it's supposed to be 40 in Syracuse today, which is like super warm for February. So um, I think we're going to have to wait. We're not going to have time. I'm going to also turn on Amanda Bucci's podcast. For some reason, I can't access it on my phone, and I just kind of... You know, I listened to our first one. And I really like it. I've never been someone that listened to podcasts before, but um, I'm starting to get more into that. I've also, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to start her podcast, listen to it while I cook some breakfast. All right, everybody, welcome back to Bucci Radio. Thank you guys for clicking on the podcast. Today I have a special guest by the name of Christian Guzman. I remember my videos getting not even a thousand views. I get going out of the driveway um, one of the things I've been kind of capitalizing on with the fact that I commute everywhere like everywhere is at least a 30 to 45 minute drive for me and as much as I'm a huge music lover I've also been trying to start taking advantage of just listening to like either books on tape kind of thing or I was doing like a lot of YouTube like I listened to a lot of youtubers who did more like speaking versus like having to watch the video for it to be relevant um, but I downloaded on audible I haven't like done a membership I probably will but I actually um, hey it was only seven bucks for this self-esteem series done by a psychiatrist her name was Connie Podesta and I'm gonna show you you can see that. I don't know how bright it is right here. I've been listening to that and it's funny because even just like the first half hour drive I had to the gym listening to it, I feel like has impacted me in such a large way. Um, I've been doing this all week and it sounds probably lame, but I just feel so much more positive about everything. 
um, I've been much more kind to myself this week and appreciative of who I am and what I contribute in this world, I guess. So it might sound silly that like one little thing can do that, but for me, it's a really helpful just like getting that outside perspective and listening on perspective and how to change your perspective on things in life. Um, it's really made a difference. So if you guys have any good audible books on tape or whatever that you would recommend, let me know because I'm going to be doing more of that since, like I said, I drive everywhere and I don't know. I think this is helpful for me. Like I love reading, which is funny because Jason's always like, do you though? Because I never see you read. Um, but I do. I love reading. I just never have time to do it. That's all I used to do as a kid was read. Um, R.L. Stein books, the cheerleader series, was my favorite. The, like, no fear books, I think they're called, if anyone remembers. But anyways, I'm going to drive now, so I'm not going to vlog. I'll see you guys in a little bit, and hopefully my pineapple bun will look a little cuter. The teasing was getting him down. He was becoming depressed, and he made a D. Never made a D in his life. And he told me about that first D. He told me about getting off the school bus, and he told me about dreading walking to his house because he knew what his dad would say. But his dad did something that Sean hadn't counted on. This is craziness. It's It was only supposed to be 40 in Syracuse today, which was going to be really warm. And it's 60 degrees out. I'm wearing a sweater and I'm seriously overdressed. But just got my hair done. And all I do is have her kind of do my roots a little bit and she pulls it through and then we add a little gloss action to it. I don't know, that's what she calls it, is gloss. Ah. And then it makes my hair like nice and shiny. Then I had her wax my eyebrows too, but 10 out of 10 I knew I was going to cry in there because I hadn't seen her since I lost Winston and she's a dog lover and loved Winston. so. You know, she got me crying about my dog, but it's okay. It's all good. Um, yeah, so hair's done. And I don't know what's going to happen next. Not sure. Keep you posted. Story, I just decided I want to make meatloaf for dinner. So I have beef at home. And I grabbed some garlic, green pepper. Um, onion, I'm doing everything convenient because I want to do it quick since it bakes for a while. Onion, carrot noodles that I'm going to chop up even more, and then green zucchini or green squash, same thing. I'm going to chop those up, put it in there. I just need some, let's see, I just need breadcrumbs. I just need breadcrumbs, and I think that's it. And maybe a loaf pan. I'm not sure if I have like a meatloaf size loaf pan and I'm going to grab Jason Karma water and I'm going to grab myself some peanut butter. Seriously, have, where the hell are breadcrumbs? Looking for whole wheat breadcrumbs and I'm not quite sure what are these guys. Protein infused water. Some protein, zero carbs. Strawberry lemonade. Caffeine free? Hmm. So I'm about to make a super simple healthy meatloaf that this guy wanted nothing to do with. A lot of people don't like meatloaf. I feel like it's just the name that doesn't sound appealing. To me it is. It's like meaty and delicious. So um, I just remember at the hospital all the patients always hated the meatloaf. but. It wasn't very good, so. Mine is though, so what we're gonna use very simply is some beef, or use turkey burger, ground chicken, whatever you want. I'm using this organic ground beef. You're gonna need like a pound of that. I'm sauteing up right now bell pepper and onions. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic to that. It's so easy too, you're gonna use like a loaf pan of some sort. Oven's preheated to 400 degrees. And then all you're gonna do is go ahead and add everything together, the meat, the peppers and onions. 
I am going to add a little bit of these whole wheat uh, breadcrumbs, or you can make it simply with oats. That's another good substitution. I'm going to use two eggs. And then to add a little more veg to it, I've never tried this before, but I'm going to add some carrots and some zucchini. So I'm going to kind of chop that up finely, just mix it all together. So I'm cooking this at 400 degrees and I'm going to cook it for like 30 minutes and then what I'm going to do is take it out and just kind of smother the top with some low sugar ketchup and then cook it for like another five minutes or so and it should be good. And I got to remember to actually set the oven timer because I've had that issue before. This is what I hate about making dinner is I'm hungry and I want to eat but it still needs to cook longer, I just tempt it. It's not quite there yet, so. Beef, a little food service tip for you, should be cooked to 165 degrees Fahrenheit. So, it's got a little bit longer to cook, and just thought I'd update you really quick on my week in terms of macros. Um, had a really good week. Um, I feel like I'm adjusting really well to the foods I'm eating, like I mentioned earlier. I'm kind of, like I'm following macros, but I do enjoy doing like a meal plan-ish, so to speak. I don't eat the same stuff every day, like I kind of switch it up, but I have like basic meals that I love. For instance, chicken with jasmine rice and asparagus with coconut oil, and I'll like switch on and off doing salmon or ground beef to get like some fats from, and... Yeah, I'm doing like strawberries and bell peppers every day, just trying to like eat really good. So I've been feeling really good. I decided this week to stay off the scale just because um, I thought I was going to do okay with the daily weights and just taking it for what it was and doing like a weekly average. But unfortunately, I still attach emotion to weigh-ins, whether that be positive or negative. And it needs to be neither. It needs to just be a tool of assessment that you're using. And it's hard for me on like, you know, when you see your weight go down, it's like, yes, awesome. I'm doing what I need to. This is great. And then when it doesn't move, it's like, why? What am I doing wrong? And for me, that can start to cause me to lack motivation. And my focus right now is not trying to lose pounds on the scale. It's more so just to be eating more healthy and fueling myself better and being more mindful of my overall health. And with that, yeah, I'd like to lose a few pounds. I'm not going to lie. I would feel a little bit more comfortable if I lost a few pounds. I'd like to see some of the gains I made a little bit better. Um, but it's nothing worth stressing over. Like I'm, I'm a healthy, healthy young lady. Um, so anyways, I just stayed off the scale and it's funny cause I stayed off the scale and a few people told me they noticed this week that I looked leaner. So, um, I don't know. It kind of made me want to get on the scale to see, to like get that, like, confirmation but I'm like no I don't need to I feel really good right now like I feel really good about myself I don't give a shit that I'm going to the Arnold and I'm not gonna be shreddy and cut and that you know I don't care like I don't I'm in a really good place where I don't care I think you guys can see that like I want people to be motivated and inspired by me when I'm not competing and regardless of what my body fat percentage is because I have so much more to offer than like shreds like there's so much more to me than that I'm not saying that those things aren't cool and I enjoy them as well um I'm just saying my self value is not dictated by those things um but with that I am super excited to meet you all at the Arnold I mentioned Jason and I will be there all day Friday, all day Saturday. We will not be there Sunday. We're gonna be, sorry, we're gonna be flying home Sunday. 
um, Tiger Fitness booth. I think it's 1013. I put an Instagram post up. Um, I'm trying to learn how to use Instagram Live, you guys. I haven't used it at all. Um, yeah, I think it's booth... Booth 1013. I was right. Booth 1013. Come meet me. Say hi. Let's take a photo. Let's talk. Let's chat. Ask the dietitian right in person. Shake my hand. Feel my bicep. Slap my ass. I don't care. I'll be there for you guys. Whatever you want. Me and Shredded Jesus will be there. So hopefully this meatloaf's done because I'm hungry. And tonight, I got to say, I think because I've been working out so hard... And that was the other thing I was going to say about my macros. I did decrease them just a little this week, like nothing drastic. I had kept my macros consistent for two weeks. Then this week I did decide to cut them down, um, cut carbs down a little bit and fat a little bit. Like fat, I don't, you know, you only have so many fat grams to work with. So I tend to cut that down anywhere between three to five grams max. Um, I don't do giant drops with that. Um, otherwise I'd have no fat left in the day. Um, so I did cut things down a little bit this week, and I didn't really feel bad with it. I did notice some hunger before bed, but that's not a bad thing, and your body does adjust to that as well. It's not like, you know, it's hard because I think when people first, like, make changes to their diet and they feel those differences, they panic. Like, oh my god, I feel hungry before bed, and I trust me, I hate feeling hungry before bed, but... Your body adapts to stuff. Your body is amazing at adapting to what you're doing, your environment, your surroundings, what you're putting into your body. It will adapt. Give it time. Be patient. With that being said, I'm going to patiently await my meatloaf. Meatloaf's done, and I definitely don't think it's the most aesthetic food to show. Um, I think it'll taste better than how it looks, but yeah, looks a little veggies under there. Got my ketchup that I cooked on top of it. So I'm going to let that kind of, I'm going to let those flavors simmer for a bit. And I found these at the store. I love Brussels sprouts. Probably not going to taste as good as if I just cooked them myself. But in the spirit of being very hungry and just wanting to hurry up and eat, sea salt and cracked pepper Brussels sprouts. So I'm going to eat some of these with my meatloaf. What are these guys? These guys are three fat in a serving, nine carbs. Three of those carbs are from fiber and three protein. A little heavier on the sodium content, but it's all good. Those are going in the microwave. And that's going to conclude today's vlog. That's going to be it, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.